Looking ahead to the weekend, some of the smartest minds in the country will be on hand Saturday in Columbus to take part in the largest science festival in the Midwest. Kersai's Science Festival is, is expected to attract 50,000 people to help promote the importance of STEM education and inspire children to look at a career in the field of science. This is the third year for this event, and it all happens at Kosai downtown. So more than 100 exhibitors on hand Saturday to show how a science-based education can be a cool way to make a living. As we said, they're all going to be there Saturday, the brightest minds. That's why we sent reporter Kevin Landers there on a Friday. <laughs> Hey, Ken. You said brightest minds, though. I want to make sure you said brightest minds? On Saturday. That's what you said. Not, not this one, but this guy is. Dr. <laughs> B, CEO, president of COSI, is here with us. The event starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow. What a great way to immerse kids in science because they're going to have hands-on experience with some of the best scientists in the world all here in Columbus. You just nailed it. That's the best thing about this most exciting time. I was super excited when we opened King Tut and Common, but really this weekend, the big science celebration tomorrow, Saturday from 11 to 5, is when we showcase to the world amazing scientists. You talked about it. We have Battelle, Honda, CAS, you name it. Some of the best scientists literally in the world get to interact with people of all ages. And it's not you get a flyer. To your point, it's a hands-on, interactive, get dirty, grit it with it, but get excited about STEM. Even NASA is going to be here. NASA is going to be here. And this is unusual. NASA, in different years, sends us all folks from all 10 research sites around the country. They've never done that anywhere else, but they do it here at Columbus. They do it here for COSI for the Science Festival. Talk about the importance of STEM education. A lot of these kids are going to, for the first time, going to see experiments. They're going to probably be inspired to do other things. Talk about the future for STEM education for kids. I mean, that's the cool thing. I mean, everything from genetically modified organisms to AI, chat GPT, science is everywhere. It's in your phones, it's in your medicines. It's in the food we eat. It's all around us. And there's so many amazing careers that you can have and opportunities. And it's not about getting just a PhD. You can get a two-year community college degree in some tech field and start earning $60,000, $80,000, $100,000 sometimes. It's a great field to go into, and it's all around us. And there's really lots of opportunities. And I think a lot of people think of science where they think of people in white lab coats. But, you know, it's beyond that. It's art. It's education. There's a lot of things you can do in science that doesn't have to be in a lab. You're absolutely right. Now, mind you, with that said, I'm sporting my <laughs> tailor-made white lab coat. Yeah. But no, that's the whole thing. It's not about thick glasses and pocket protectors, but everybody, members of diverse communities, can really embrace science. And it's adults, too. Uh, especially for adults, right? Yeah. Do you have a cell phone? I do. There you go. Science made that happen. That's right. Dr. B, I wish he had more passion about this. He's awesome. Don't forget, at 11 o'clock Saturday, it runs until 5 o'clock. A huge celebration begins uh, at 5 o'clock here, and it's, uh, it's a great way. It's free, and bring your kids out. Back to you guys. Kevin, you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see Dr. B. It is. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to have uh, Dr. B in our backyard mm -hmm. is just such a treasure, so good stuff.